special edition of Zoo to you as we are here to witness the debut of the most anticipated animal ever at Assiniboine Park Zoo. Let's go meet Hudson. And Tim St. Clair Smith is one of the guys who are responsible for Hudson's new home. First off, how's he doing? Moving can be tough at the best of times. Well, yeah, and you know what? He's a champ. He's, uh, he's handled it well. He's um, settled in far better than we could have possibly expected. Actually, he's exceeded uh, any of the expectations that we had. Beautiful. Let's talk, uh, let's talk about him in the wild. He'd be, he'd be an omnivore, right? Eating uh, whatever he can find that he wants. Uh, how do we feed him here and keep him happy? Yeah, they, they mainly eat uh, a lot of the meat. Uh, you know, seals is their, a big part of their diet, the fat. The fat is what they need because they need to put on enough weight to, to get through the summers, you know, so they're sort of backwards compared to grizzlies and back, black bears. Right. You know, so they, they put on a lot of weight to get through that summer period when they don't have access to the ice. So, you know, he, uh, he gets a little bit more of a specialised diet here because, of course, we don't have seals coming in uh, to feed to him. So, you know, we have fish, uh, things like herring and smelt, and uh, he actually, one of his favourite things, pears, believe it or not. Loves pears. <laughs> All right, kids, finish your pears. You'll be big like a polar bear. Let's talk about uh, territory. You and I have seen what a tiger does yes. uh, when it comes to marking territory. Yeah, What's he going to do when it comes to making this place his? You know what? Uh, you know, when you're, you're the size of this animal, just being there is enough. <laughs> <laughs> just the size. Because you look at Hudson behind us there playing around. He's only a third of the size of what he's going to get. So, you know, he's 410 pounds right now. He's going to be between 1,000 and 1,200 pounds. So he's going to be a massive animal. He doesn't need to tell other animals he's around. No, when you're at the top of the food chain like that, you pretty much, they just get out of your way. Great point. <laughs> he's an apex predator, super smart, super strong. Uh, what challenges does that bring you uh, when it comes to keeping them happy? Well, there's bonuses to it because highly intelligent animals, they're good to work with for training, etc. But the downside with super intelligent animals is they work you. You know, they, they like to, uh, to play games with you. They like to, uh, you know, play mind games with you when it comes to your training. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, I might not do this. I might go over here instead of doing it and see what happens. You know, so they're always challenging the, uh, the staff when it comes to the training. How does he keep himself cool when it comes to our summers? Well, we've got uh, the back areas that, that are quite cool. So he can go in back there and cool down. But they, they, all of these... Uh, enclosures still have all the big pools that he can swim in so what he'll do is if he gets too hot he'll dive in the pool and really cool down with that because when it comes down to it even though he's big and a bear he's an excellent swimmer yeah, he's a fantastic swimmer one last question before i let you go you know something about uh moving to a new place is getting along with the the, the people who are already there yes when the first ground squirrel goes through his enclosure How's Hudson expected to react? Well, uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some, you know, squirrel conversations going on up there. <laughs> one of them uh, is going to walk out and go, what the, you know, is going to be the first uh, one that comes in. Then he's going to run back over the other squirrel and go, where did that come from? That <laughs> wasn't here last summer. <laughs> but the neighbors are going to get to know this guy real soon. They will, they will. I will hear some chirping. <laughs> <laughs> and so will the rest of Winnipeg. Congratulations and thank you very much. Thanks very much, Jerry. Welcome to your new place, bud. If you're a ground squirrel, Run. Heads up. But if you're us, go! Yes. Go see him! He is so adorable! He is super cute, What a he? great personality! Oh yeah, he was happy to be there, happy to show off, happy to meet everybody, showed off uh, showed off everything he knows how to do. He's, a, as you can tell, and as Tim said, extremely intelligent. Uh, last time we talked uh, with Tim, we talked tigers, right? Yeah. And Tim showed us that he could speak tiger. Yeah. I asked him about his polar bear. He said that Hudson is so smart that he doesn't have to learn polar bear. Hudson's going to learn English. Oh, that's cute. There you go. But he actually did speak tiger though. Like that's not. Oh made yeah, up. no, he and I can't do it, but he does. Uh, Tim does a like a like a goo 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 goo, <laughs> and the tiger does it back. It's. The tiger's One of the probably neatest just things like, I've ever seen. shut up. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying to me. <laughs> Not knowing Tim, it's probably no, dead on. He, know, he knows this stuff, that Sentence, guy. Sentence translation. But yes, Hudson's here. Yay, everyone give him a warm welcome. Go check him out at the Assiniboine Park Zoo. All the info is on breakfasttelevision.ca. Going to take a break. Still plenty to come today. The polar beds and trees. The